Hey everybody, this is Blake here, and welcome to my review of Deadpool, a movie I honestly thought would never get made. So Ryan Reynolds first portrayed Deadpool in X-Men Origins Wolverine, and just from what we saw of him in the opening scene, he was great. Uh, Ryan Reynolds was perfectly cast, his dialogue was funny, his chemistry with everybody else was really compelling, and his action scene was really, really cool. I loved what he did with those dual swords. And so it was infuriating when they shortly afterwards said that he had been killed off screen, but then they bring him back for the finale, only to have his mouth sewn up, so no more witty one-liners. And he was no longer portrayed by Ryan Reynolds. Now he had a body double who, for the record, was the great Scott Adkins. And as much as I love Scott Adkins, um, that, that was just a stupid decision on the filmmaker's part. Uh, but the character was so popular that they started immediately talking about doing a spinoff film. And Ryan Reynolds would once again reprise the role. Unfortunately, the Green Lantern flopped really, really badly, and that seemed to put an end to this project. And then years later, they would, they would eventually revive it, and so it was interesting just hearing about the, the plans they had for this character, uh, such as that he would be in a rated R movie. Um, that, that was really cool. I know virtually nothing about the comic books, but the things that people would describe, like him uh, constantly referencing the fourth wall, uh, that, that caught my attention. I, I was intrigued. And then the previews came out. And other than the fact that you could tell that it was a hard R movie, um, honestly, I thought the trailers were kind of underwhelming. Uh, but still, you know, I, I really wanted this to be good. It was a, a comic book film that were, where the F-bomb was constantly being dropped and people were getting killed in gruesome ways. I was like, come on, movie, be good, be good. And then it was. It, and it was getting really good reviews. And so now I was super excited. And then I saw the movie and it was good. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure I want to call it a great film. Um... I really did like it. I may have even loved it, but part of me suspects that this will eventually suffer from a backlash in the same way that the first X-Men and Spider-Man uh, ended up getting. Because when we first saw these movies in the early 2000s, um, they were loved by audiences but over time we began to see them as obsolete they get surpassed in almost every single way and now when we look back at the first x-men for example it's kind of underwhelming still a pretty good film but a little underwhelming and i kind of feel that deadpool will eventually be the same thing because this film is a lot smaller in scale compared to a lot of uh really most comic book movies out there it's structured in a way that is very alienating, and I'll get into that in a moment. Its style of humor is so vulgar and over-the-top that a lot of people might just find it to be off-putting. But at the same time, because this is rated R, and because it is so different from everything else, right now, we love it. Uh, it is a, a breath of fresh air. Now, if more movies come out like this, and... and the same thing happens where they're a lot bigger, they're a lot more clever, and they, you, they pretty much make this very offbeat structure into a formula, we might eventually look back up at Deadpool and just see you know, a, a good start, but nothing more. But I could be wrong, I can't predict the future. Uh, it is possible that 10 years down the line, I will watch Deadpool again and see nothing short of a classic. But history tells me that if Deadpool's formula catches on and becomes a trend, it will be improved upon, um, both in terms of special effects, action, and storytelling. And we will eventually look back upon Deadpool as nothing more than an important film or for this style. Uh, but not necessarily an exceptional one, uh, just like X-Men and Spider-Man. But I do think that, for now, Deadpool is a good movie, maybe even a very good movie. Uh, I, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, but let me break down all of this film's aspects, and you can make your own decision as to whether or not Deadpool is for you. 
Now, the way it's structured is very odd. It starts off with Deadpool killing a bunch of people in a hardcore action scene that's very uh, violent, very stylish. I thought the editing and cinematography and choreography were all great. Uh, I loved how Deadpool's personality shines through out all of this spectacle so when he kills somebody or reacts to something happening it just speaks volumes about the character and gives really the film itself loads of personality uh it's such a, a, an over-the-top action sequence though that the film never really tops it uh in a lot of ways i was reminded of machete where uh robert rodriguez said that he made the opening scene more hardcore than the rest because it would be so crazy that people would think that the film was significantly crazier than it was i sort of feel that was the intention here make that opening scene you know hit very hard be as awesome as could be and then people will trick themselves into thinking that the rest of the movie was just like it uh but then immediately after that action scene it cuts to a flashback and we learn some about uh, Deadpool's origins, then it returns back to the Deadpool storyline, and then it goes back to the origins, and it kind of goes back and forth in a way that a lot of people aren't going to like, because long chunks of screen time occur where there isn't really a lot of action happening because of how it's uh, structured and paced. I personally was okay with this, though, because if they had told the story in a linear fashion, it meant that there wouldn't really be any action scenes until the second half of the movie. Uh, and furthermore, based on the way it's structured, I liked how they established Deadpool's personality, and then they go into what really made him this way. I thought that was just a more uh, compelling um, way of uh, fleshing out this character. Also, I thought the humor was so good during these non-action-y bits that I never really lost interest. I thought the film moved very quickly, but a lot of people aren't going to see it this way, especially if you don't have a positive reaction to the sense of humor, um, that you will get bored during these scenes, and therefore you might not like the movie at all. Uh, in terms of the action I, I i thought the action scenes were really good uh i liked how the violence was used it was gratuitous but it was done in a very comical and stylish kind of way uh however i did feel the directing fell sort of flat during the character oriented sequences it's strange because whenever somebody is fighting you know the camera's constantly moving around and it's it's perfect but during the character oriented sequences it just kind of felt very point and shoot ish uh that just it seemed a little lazy like the director wasn't really enjoying doing uh the non-action sequences even though you know the actors and the writing helped kept keep it afloat uh the humor can be very crude very vulgar uh very offensive i thought most of it was very funny but there were times when yeah I didn't think the film was as clever as it thought it was. I really enjoyed a lot of the fourth wall uh, jokes and, um, you know, the shock humor that accompanied it. Like at one point, uh, uh, Colossus is dragging Deadpool and he says that they're going to talk to Professor X. And he says, um, Patrick Stewart or, or James McAvoy or whatever his name is, uh, the whole alternate timeline thing is really confusing and maybe people will not like that because he is drawing attention to the fact that he is in a movie uh, and more more specifically a movie franchise but i i thought that was part of the film's identity it was very different it broke a lot of the rules that accompany most of these films and i liked how the stakes were oddly low um the villain hates the hero really the villain starts everything off because the hero makes fun of his name <laughs> and that is the extent of his motivations and with deadpool he's not really a benevolent person he's not a total asshole either uh but he is just kind of a psychopath and he is really a selfish person he has his own motivations he wants to uh catch this bad guy both so he can fix his appearance but also just for good old-fashioned revenge. Now, eventually, you know, the love interest does get 
abducted, so they have to have a rescue story. But I, you know, once again, it, bro it was breaking rules, and I thought that was really clever. Um, but a lot of people will find it difficult to sympathize with Deadpool for that reason. And a lot of people will find that the lack of stakes, you know, the world's not at threat, you know, there's no global threat or anything, um, that'll mean that there's a lack of suspense. Uh, I disagree, but I am just pointing out these things because you might feel that way. Um, and I, I thought uh, the love story was actually handled very well. Uh, um, both he and his love interest have great, great chemistry. I enjoyed watching them interact, and it's so refreshing to see a romance where you actually enjoy watching the romance just as much as everything else. Uh, I, I loved um, how she has her own kind of offbeat, wild sense of humor, and some of the stuff that happens between them you just won't see coming. Uh, definitely did not expect to see Deadpool get pegged. Once again, something that might turn off some people, uh, but I thought it was kind of funny. Um, but uh, even though she's kind of an underdeveloped character, she is just a typical love interest. I thought, once again, her, her dialogue was so funny and their chemistry was so powerful that she was one of the more compelling love interests for that reason alone. Whereas, like, Jane from Thor and even uh, Pepper from Iron Man... Sometimes they do drag the movie down because the, the romance is just trying to give the film depth, but it just sort of slows it. But here I thought that the romance was in many ways one of the best things about this movie because I enjoyed their interactions so much. But I also like Deadpool's interactions with everybody else. He just has that weird sense of humor and he, the people he plays off of are, are generally more straight and, and so how they react to him and how he reacts uh, to them uh, it just kept me engaged uh, and Ryan Reynolds is, is great you know, he, he's perfectly cast the guy just has great comedic timing um, yeah he's made some horrible films in the past few years but I, I never felt that was Ryan Reynolds fault it's just that the movie surrounding him let him down uh, but here he, he does great and the movie utilizes his strengths very well uh, and I also liked how they had occasionally poked fun at Green Lantern or X-Men Origins. Um, so I, I, I had a positive reaction to this movie. Uh, does that mean you will? No. Um, you know, ten years down the line, once again, I suspect that Deadpool will seem kind of uh, obsolete. But for now, I thought this was an exceptional experience. And I think you should watch Deadpool in theaters. Um, Unless, like, what I'm describing to you sounds very off-putting, then you might not want to risk that and probably should just go see it or wait till it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray. But for now, I I'd strongly re recommend that you support this film. Uh, I'm glad that it seems to be doing well uh, because I want to see more hardcore comic book films that, uh, you know, exploit the R rating. And I hope that they don't cop out in the sequel and go the PG-13 route. I always fear that the studio will try to hijack and think well if this movie did so much money as an r flick what how well will it do if we rate the sequel pg-13 hopefully that doesn't happen but uh so yeah that's all i have to say follow me on twitter facebook i hope you enjoyed this video and i shall see you guys later